electromagnetic induction. Magnetic flux. Magnetic flux through any surface placed in magnetic field is the total number of magnetic lines of force crossing the surface normally. Here, this is surface and this is direction of magnetic field. Here, perpendicular drawn on area is along the direction of B. In this case, perpendicular drawn on the area is like this, n cap, and uh, magnetic field is like this. So angle between n cap and B is theta. Now, let's define magnetic flux mathematically. Phi is given as B A cos theta, where theta is angle between n cap and B. In this case, theta equal to zero degree. So here, phi will be B A. B is magnetic field, as I told you. In this case, it will be phi equal to B A cos theta. Phi is a scalar quantity. Now, the unit of magnetic flux, phi is measured in vapor. Vapor, which is SI unit. In CGS unit, it is Maxwell and Apex. Maxwell, such that 10 power 8 Maxwell equal to 1 beta. Now, let's see Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. First law, whenever the magnetic flux linked with the closed circuit changes an EMF and hence a current is induced in it, which lasts only so long as the change in flux is taking place. This phenomena is called electromagnetic induction. Second law, the magnitude of induced EMF is equal to the rate of change of magnetic flux linked with the closed circuit. So mathematically, we can write it as E equal to minus d phi by dt. Here, negative sign indicates that the direction of induced EMF is such that it opposes the change in magnetic flux. Here, d phi means this can also be written as minus phi 2 minus phi 1 divided by t2 minus phi 1. If there are n terms which are closely bound, in that case, EMF induced will be equal to minus n d phi by t. Here n is number of terms. in the coil. Now, let's understand these concepts by some numericals. Question number one. A small piece of metal wire is dragged across the gap between the poles of a magnet in 0 0.5 second. If magnetic flux between the pole pieces is known to be 8 into 10 power minus pole vapor, then find the induced EMF in the wire. So here, we are given dt is 0 0.5 second, and d phi is 8 into 10 to the power minus 4 vapor. Now, induced EMF modulus is equal to d phi by which is the values d phi is 8 into 10 to the power minus 4 divided by 0 0.5. So this will become 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 3. Four. Now let's see next question. Question 2. A coil of wire enclosing an area 100 square centimeter is placed with its plane making an angle. 60 degree with the magnetic field of strength 0.1 tesla. 
what is the flux through the coil? If magnetic field is reduced to zero in 10 power minus three second, then find the induced EF. So here, situation is like this. Suppose here it says that it's a coil of wire enclosing an area 100 square centimeters placed with its plane making an angle 60 degree with a magnetic field. So plane of coil, suppose this is direction of magnetic field, then plane of coil means this plane of coil. So this makes 60 degree angle. Then normal drawn on the coil will be like this. So this is 60. This is D. So this total angle will be 90 degree. So here we can say this is direction of end cap. And this makes angle 60 degree. And since end cap is always perpendicular to the plane, right? So we can consider this is end cap. And here this plane is making 60 degree with B. So angle that N cap makes with B will be 90 minus 60, that is 30 degree. So here we can write it. So theta equal to 90 degree minus 60 degree. We always take theta, the angle that normal drawn on area makes with magnetic field and not the angle that area makes with the magnetic field. That is why it is much degree. Now, magnetic field is given as 0 0.1 Tesla and the area is 100 cm square. That is 100 times 10 power minus 4 meter square. And uh, time is given, we can take it as dt 10 power minus 3 second. Now, d5 is equal to dA cross theta. So, b is 0 0.1. Area is 100 into 10 power minus 4 into theta cross 30 degree cross 30 degree, which is 1 by 2. So 0 0.1 into 100 into 10 power minus 4 into 1 by 2. So this will give 0 0.866. Sorry, cos 30 is not 1 by 2, it is root 3 by 2. So 0 0.866 into 10 power minus 3 vector. Now, E equal to take modulus d phi by dt. So it will be equal to 0. 866 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by time is given as 10 power minus 3. So we will get 0 0.866 more. Now let's consider next question. A circular coil of radius 10 cm, 500 turns, and resistance 2 ohm is placed. With this plane perpendicular to the horizontal component of the Earth's magnetic field, it is rotated about its vertical diameter through 180 degree in 0.25 second. Find the induced EMF and current. Take horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field that, that places 3 into 10 power minus 5 Tesla. Here, area of the coil. Area will be equal to it is circular coil pi r square pi times 0 0.1 square and the resistance is given as 2 ohm 
number of turns is 500. Time is given as 0 0.25 second. And magnetic field is given as 3 into 10 power minus 5 Tesla. Now, when the coil is held perpendicular to the field, the normal to the plane makes angle 0 degree. Situation is like this. This is coil and this is field. So N cap will be in the same direction, N cap and B. So theta will be 0 degree. So in this case, suppose flux is phi 1. So phi 1 equal to B A cross theta 1. And that will be equal to B. B we can write 3 into 10 power minus 5 times area phi into 0 0.1 square times cross 0 degree. Cross 0 degree is 1. So it will be equal to 3 pi times 10 power minus 7 beta. Now, final plus to each turn of the coil when it is rotated to 180 degree. So when it is rotated to 180 degree, then theta will be in place of 0 degree, we will write 180 degree and we know that cos 180 degree equal to minus 1. So in this case, flux phi to the B, B A cos 180 degree. So all values will remain same except there will be negative sign. So minus 3 pi into 10 to the power minus 7. Now we can find EMF induced. So EMF equal to minus n d phi y dt. So d phi y dt means phi to minus phi 1 by the dt. So this is the value is minus 500 times total change will be minus if you find phi to minus phi 1, it will be minus 6 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 divided by time is given as 0 0.25 second. So this will be equal to 3.8 into 10 to the power minus 3 volt. Now we have to find out the current I equal to E upon R. E is this much 3.8 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by resistance is 2 volt. So it will be 1.9 into 10 to the power minus 3 and here this is our answer. Now let's see next question. A square loop of side 10 cm with its sides parallel to x and y axis is moved with velocity of 8 cm per second in positive x direction in a region containing magnetic field in the positive way direction. The field is non-uniform and has a gradient of 10 power minus 3 tesla per centimeter along negative x direction. Now calculate the induced current. So here area equal to side square, side is 10 cm means 0 0.1 square meter square and uh, then velocity is given 8 cm per second. This can be written as 0 0.08 meter per second. Then the rate of change of magnetic field with the distance is given. So because gradient of 10 power minus 3 tesla per centimeter, it means dp upon dx is given as it is minus 10 power minus 3 tesla per cm. Here it is given that uh, the field is non-uniform and its uh, gradient is along negative x direction. That is why minus sign is used here. So now so we can convert the same cm into meter. So 10 power minus 3 minus 
10 power minus 3 divided by 10 power minus 2. So it will become Tesla per meter, which will be negative 10 power minus 1 Tesla per meter. So we have got dt by ds. Now we know that t e equal to minus d phi by dt. And phi equal to ba, so minus d upon dt of ba, here magnetic field is changing. So we can write area before and then we write db by dt. And this can be further written as minus a db upon dx into dx by dt. And if you remember, dx by dt is velocity. db upon dx is given here. So we can write it minus a v because dx by dt is velocity times db upon dx. Now we put values. So t will be equal to minus a v it will be area is 0 0.01 because 0 0.1 squared is 0 0.01 times velocity is given as 0 0.08 times db upon dx is given minus 10 power minus 1. So it will become 8 times 10 to the power minus 5 volt. Thank you for watching.